our final uh, speaker and panelist uh, for this morning on the opportunity to meet uh, during uh, morning tea, uh, to meet her and her, her tāne, tāne, tēnā kōrua. Uh, Claire is the CEO of uh, the pioneering and multi-award winning uh, family seaweed business, AgriSea. Claire is now the inaugural chair um, of the Aotearoa New Zealand Seaweed Association, which she was prominent in establishing and developing. Claire is passionate about seeing a sector thrive that is good for people and good for the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, Claire Bradley. Uh, tēnā koutou katoa. I whānau mai au i te taha o te awa o Tāmaki Makaurau. I raro i te maru o te maunga, maunga kia kia. He uri a hau no Kotimana, no Airangi, kei te noho au, kei Pairo, ko Claire Bradley, toko ingoa. So I was born and raised in Tāmaki Makaurau, under the mountain maunga kia kia. Uh, my family have come from Scotland and Ireland, and a, a couple of Australian convicts as well. Um, but I currently live in Pairoa, um, and my name is Claire Bradley. So I'm going to cheat a little bit this morning by showing you a four-minute video for part of my five-minute intro. Um, so here we go. It was in response to people asking for our seaweed. You know, we'd give some to friends, and they'd use it on their gardens and find it was pretty good. And then friends would tell friends. So really, we just decided do we want to brew for other people or not? So we sold the kids' inheritance, moved out to the beautiful Hauraki Plains, and um, lived in the back of a shop <laughs> with no running water. Well, no running hot water, no shower, no nothing. We were the filthiest people in Pairo. And then, of course, once we were set up, um, farmers started coming in horticulturalist. So that started another complete different phase, uh, a phase where we focused very much on research. And Once we began brewing for people for whom their land is their living, that was an entirely different cup of tea. We had to research the efficacy on these monocultural commercial growing systems. You become educated, you know, you learn heaps about soil health you know, and how, well, if we have healthy soil, we sure don't need the chemicals. We do not need the chemicals. We work with a range of partners for research and development, funding from Callaghan Innovation, working with Auckland University, Waikato University, Lincoln University, WinTech, Plant and Food Research, PCTI, the list kind of goes on. We're really collaborative and open and wanting to, yeah, really share knowledge to develop that, the knowledge that our country has. I think uh, for years probably seaweed's been um, a little bit undervalued and probably poo-pooed mm -hmm. in a lot of situations. So it's really exciting now meeting scientists who love seaweed. We're like, oh yes, you know, you guys are awesome. And it's validating what we've been doing for 25 odd years. Makes yeah. us feel fantastic, yeah, that we're not the only weirdos out there doing something with seaweed, so that's cool. The blue economy is making sure, first and foremost, we look after our ecological resources and our oceans, but secondly, being able to extract value from them. So making sure that we can actually make good businesses that are sustainable, but first and foremost, looking after the resource that's sustainable too. Seaweed, of course, comes up on our beaches. It's, it's collected sustainably by our harvesters. We never take all of the seaweed. They'll clean, dry, uh, put it into fadges for us. We get shipped up, up to Pairo here. And from here, our guys go about the quality control checking. We mill it down, specifically depending on which brew we're doing. And then from there, our, our, our brewers take care of it and, and skim and stir it every day, um, up to three months. And then, um, yeah, there's a little bit in between that I can't tell you about in regards to the secret herb and spices, but that, that happens throughout the whole three months there. Yeah, there, there actually is a lot within it. It's not simply grabbing a bit of seed from the beach, chucking an old drum, forgetting about it, and voila. Sustainability for us starts from the beach right through to the barrel for our products, right through to the farmers that we spend time with. 
I look at how it's trendy to be sustainable, you know, and that word is just, you know, for us it's a lived reality. It's not something that's uh, academic kind of a thing. It's a lived reality. If it's not sustainable, we won't do it. You know, we won't do it. A successful business and respect for the environment are not mutually exclusive. Awesome. So I couldn't bring our whole whānau down here with us today, so I thought I'd bring them to, um, to you on video. So the Aotearoa New Zealand Seaweed Association has recently been formed 18 months ago, but prior to that my incredible mother-in-law um, formed SANS, and its main um, job was to try and keep seaweed out of our quota management system. Um, because we saw that um, this kind of boom and bust mentality, you know, we st talk about our oceans being our larders, and if we ruin seaweed, goodbye everything else. So, um, you know, she worked tirelessly for many uh, decades on that, and now we're moving into a new phase in terms of how can we use seaweed to regenerate our oceans and create good businesses. Kia ora.